ശാന്തി മുരളി ഡേറ്റ് ഫിഫ്ത്ത് മാർച്ച് ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ അവ്യക്ത് ബാബ്ദ മുരളി ഒറിജിനൽ ഡേറ്റ് ടെൻത്ത് ജാനുവരി നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി ഫോർ എസെൻസ് ടു ഇംബൈബ് ദ വൺ വേൾഡ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ഇൻ യുർ അവെയർനെസ് ഇൻ ത്രീ വേസ് and to become an embodiment of it is the means of safety the world benefactor bab dada is saying all his master world benefactor children the aim of each child in this brahmin birth is very elevated each one is continuing to fly ahead with the aim of making number 1 effort the aim of each one is to become number 1 but the qualifications for that are number wise so why is there a difference between the aim and its qualifications baba the bestower of knowledge is one the knowledge is one the method of yoga is one the easy and practical example of sakar brahma baba imbibing di- divine virtues is one the method of doing service and the one who teaches the way to do service is also one but the main thing is the study and the sustenance the one who gives you both of these is one and there is only one number and yet why are the practical qualifications number wise each of you knows yourself what number you are in terms of imbibing the qualifications the main basis of claiming number wise is the one word point to experience the point form secondly to put a point to any wasteful thought word or deed that is to put a full stop thirdly to churn the main points of knowledge and dharana and use them for yourself and for service at the right time point is just one word but to put it into your awareness and become an embodiment of it in all its three meanings the difference is created in this all of you have the awareness but you become number wise in becoming an embodiment of this awareness often bab dada sees how all the children become very clever in having awareness it should be like this you even think this is right and this is wrong you have this knowledge emerged but knowledge means knowledge for knowledge it is said knowledge is light knowledge is might where there is light and might there will not be the feelings where there is light and might there will not be the feeling it should be like this then you think bab dada also says this you have to become this this is the knowledge you have however do you have inside yourself at the time when you remain thinking it should be like this it should be like this it means that you are not able to use knowledge in the form of light and might at the right time 
This is why it is said that although you have it in your awareness, you lack the power to become an embodiment of it. When you have light, that is the enlightenment of what is wrong and what is right, that is that this is darkness and that is light, that is wasteful and that is powerful. Then, while knowing somewhere to be darkness and yet to remain in the darkness, would that be called being enlightened or sensible? If you are not enlightened, then what are you? A devotee or only half enlightened? What would you call it if... Even while understanding it to be wrong, someone remains under the influence of wrong actions, thoughts, sanskars or nature. What should the title of that one be? Seeing the speed of time, Babdada is repeatedly drawing the children's attention. He is doubly underlining the word attention. The tamoguni power of the elements and the power of the subtle royal wisdom of Maya are also carrying out their task at a fast speed and they will continue to do so. It is easy to know the fearsome form of the elements but you need to pay greater attention in order to remain unshakable in the fierce upheaval of the vices. You are even deceived in knowing the subtle forms of Maya. Maya has such a royal form that she makes you experience wrong to be right. Something may be completely wrong, but she transforms your intellect in such a way that she makes you, makes your real understanding and your power of realization disappear. Just as when someone performs magic, he completely removes the self-control of others. In the same way, the royal Maya that makes your realization power disappear doesn't allow you to understand what is real something may be completely wrong but because of being under the influence of the shadow of maya you become a lawyer for the supreme court of maya in understanding wrong to be right and in proving to be right what do lawyer do? They are very clever at proving something false to be true. They are clever at proving the truth to be truth. But they are still clever at proving something false to be true. They are clever at both. This is why Bab Dada is making you doubly underline the word attention. Constantly keep yourself safe from the subtle form of the shadow of Maya that transforms your power of realization. Because Maya is especially carrying out her task in this form. Do you understand? So what will you do? Remain careful. Any special soul gives you a signal, then remove yourself from that shadow of Maya and put yourself, that is, especially put your mind and intellect under the support of the Father's canopy of protection. At present, there is a particular influence of Maya on minds in how they create negative thoughts and feelings and maya is also carrying out her special task 
of stopping intellects from having accurate realization. When it is a particular season, you pay special attention to protecting yourself from this, that season. For instance, when it rains, what attention would you pay? You would have an umbrella, you would have a raincoat. You would pay attention to this, would you not? When it is cold, you would wear warm clothes. You would pay attention to this, would you not? So, especially imbibe a means of safety in advance, so that your minds and intellects do not become influenced. The special means of safety is very easy. You were also told earlier that the one word point is easy. It is easy, is it not? One word is easy, is it not? Baba did not tell you something complicated, did he? You continue to say, I a soul, I am a point, I am a soul, I am the form of light. But you do not stabilize yourself in that form. You try to put a point, but it becomes a question mark or exclamation mark instead. Is it easy to put a point or to put an exclamation mark? Or to put a question mark, it is easy to put a full stop. So, why do you get involved with a question mark or an exclamation mark? Adopt this method. It is a season for proving the false to be true. The false would be even more clear and attractive than the truth. In the same way, it is a fashion nowadays for false things to be so attractive that in front of them, the value of real things is reduced. Look at real silver and look at white silver. Which one seems beautiful? Real silver would become dull. Whereas, white silver would constantly shine. And so, which one would attract white or real? So, recognize the season. Recognize the form of Maya. Recognize the different games of Tamoguni nature. One is to know and the other is to recognize. You know a great deal, but you sometimes make a mistake when it comes to recognizing. And sometimes you are right. What you will do now? You will remain safe. Will you not? Do not say later that you did not think that it would ever happen like this. This why and what? will not do. Baba even now has a little mercy and so he only takes a few steps. But later no one will listen to what and why. It should not be like this but like this. This way of ad advocating will not do. Become a judge. Do not be Maya's lawyer. Do not become a lawyer for Maya. You enjoy yourself a great deal when you advocate. All of you are experienced in this, either in doing it or in listening to it. All of you are experienced in this. You do have this experience, do you not? You listen to it and you remain cheerful as a detached observer. 
Did you understand this clearly? Did the Pandavas understand this? Did the Shaktis understand this? Did the teachers understand this? All of you are saying yes, yes. A photo of yes is being taken of all of you. The third season is that of coming into relationship and contact and dealing with the weakness of one's nature and sanskars. The expansion of this is very big. Baba will not tell you about this today, but some other time. Many children say, what can I do? I did not have this before, but I don't know what happens now. I did not have this sanskar before, but it has emerged now. So, Baba will tell you some other time the reason for it and the way it grows. Achha. To all the all the Chatrak children thirsty for every drop in all four directions who listen to and imbibe the elevated versions of Bab Dada to the close souls who have all the subjects in their awareness and have become embodiments of them to the elevated souls who put every aspect of knowledge into practice in the form of light and might to the enlightened souls, the children of the father, who constantly make the qualifications equal to their aim, to those who constantly remain under the father's canopy of protection, and thereby remain safe from the shadow of Maya. To the special souls who put into their practical lives the specialities of knowing and recognizing. To such children, love, remembrance and namaste from Bab Dada. Avyakta Bab Dada meeting Dadis personally. The Shakti army is moving at a fast speed, is it not? As well as Bab Dada, you instrument souls are also responsible for making the army move along. The father is constantly with you and will constantly remain with you. You are Bab Dada's elevated arms, are you not? The Father gives you power. The Father is the form of might. But you souls are the instruments in the form of mics. You listen to so many joyful things. It seems like a game. Does it not? It is a game. Is it not? While playing games, you will become victorious and make everyone victorious and conquerors of Maya. You have this guarantee. However, in between you have to see these games. So, you don't get tired, do you? While laughing and playing, you overcome things and enable others to overcome them. And when you hear of anything, what emerges in your heart? Vaha drama vaha. The words of O drama O do not emerge. Vaha drama. While saying vaha vaha, everyone has to become vaha vaha. You have to overcome all this. Avyakta Bab Dada meeting personal groups. Victory is our birthright. Experience the stage of being free from obstacles 
with this faith and intoxication just as the father is the highest on high in the same way do you move along while experiencing yourselves to be the highest on high souls for the people of the world after the father the most elevated and highest on high are the deities however the people of the world do not know that you brahmin souls you angels are even higher than the deities the deity status cannot be called higher than brahmin life the brahmin life of the present time is more elevated you know very well why you are more elevated than the deities the knowledge from the father will not be in an emerged form when you are in the deity forms you experience meeting god in this brahmin life not in deity life brahmins become deities but at this time you are more elevated than you are in your deity life therefore constantly have this intoxication not just sometimes because the father is imperishable and the knowledge that the imperishable father gives is also imperishable the awareness that he gives you is also imperishable not just sometimes so check whether you constantly have this intoxication or only sometimes you experience pleasure when you have this intoxication all the time if you have it sometimes and not at other times then sometimes you experience pleasure and at other times you become confused so do not experience pleasure one moment and be confused in the next but constantly experience pleasure you constantly have to breathe if you stop breathing for even a second or if you only breathe sometimes would you call that a life so in the same way do your constantly experience pleasure in the brahmin life if you are not experiencing pleasure you would definitely be confused so do you mothers constantly experience pleasure you are shaktis are you not you are not ordinary are you or is it that when you go home you become ordinary no always remember that you are shaktis you do not belong to anything limited but you are unlimited world benefactors shaktis means those who gain victory over the devils shaktis are known as the destroyers of evil that is those who destroy the devilish sanskars so are all of you shakti so courageous pandavas means victorious pandavas can never say that they do not want that but that they are defeated you have experienced the defeat for half a cycle and it is now the time to experience victory if at the time of victory you are defeated then would you become victorious this is why you are constantly victorious at this time victory is your birthright no one let's go 
of their right they claim it even after having to fight for it whereas here you receive it easily victory is your birth right you have the intoxication and happiness of having a right do you not you have so much intoxication of having a limited right would a prime minister forget that he is a prime minister when he is sleeping or eating would he forget that he is a prime minister whether you have a limited right or an unlimited right no matter how much someone may try to make you forget it you would never forget it it is maya's task to make you forget it and your task is to be victorious because you understand what victory and defeat are you have experienced defeat and also experienced victory so you know the difference between what happened by being defeated and what happened by being victorious you know the difference between the two and this is why you are constantly victorious and will constantly remain victorious because you souls have the right to imperishable attainments from the imperishable father this consciousness must constantly emerge in you what if it is not like that we have become this we do know let it not be like this it has to be in practical form those who know this move along with this faith let there be the faith and intoxication of victory in your every act the basis of intoxication is faith if you lack faith you lack intoxication this is why it is said those whose intellect have faith are victorious so what is the foundation faith do not be those who have faith only sometimes otherwise at the end at the time of the result you will have attainment only sometimes and you will also have to repent now is the time to attain otherwise later there will be repentance so at the time of attaining attain something at the time of repentance you will not be able to attain anything we will do it it will happen let it not be like this have the faith that you have to do it do not move along with the assurance that you will do it we are doing it what else can happen it will happen no it has to happen now do not say it will happen it will happen but it is you challenge others and tell them that one cannot rely on one's life you give others this knowledge and so first give yourself this knowledge are you those who will do this at some time or those will do it now so you are the souls who constantly claim a right to victory victory is your birth right continue to fly with this awareness no matter what happens have the awareness that you are constantly victorious no matter what happens 
If your faith is firm, no one can do anything. अच्छा Now, each one of you has to perform such a wonder that every place is victorious, that is, free from obstacles. Let there be no obstacles. Obstacles may come, but do not be defeated. Where there is victory, obstacles will be removed and you will become free from obstacles. Show the wonder of being constantly free from obstacles. No matter which Gita Patshala subcenter or center it may be, become free from obstacles yourself and also make others free from obstacles. Show such wonders. You have to do this. Not that you will do it at some point you will see about it to say will do will do means to have a percentage in your faith let everyone hear the good news that all the small and big centers are free from obstacles no type of obstacle can come we will finish the obstacles of others and become victorious. Let there be such news received. Let there not be any news of obstacles from anywhere. Let it not be that you say, I am fine, but what can I do when the others are doing this? Demonstrate this by being victorious for three months. Everything will be known in three months. All of you are saying yes. So demonstrate it by showing this wonder. Acha. Blessing. May you be Maya proof and remain safe in every situation by being merged in the one father's love. The children who remain merged in the one father's love easily stay away from vibrations and the atmosphere everywhere because to be merged means to be powerful like the father and to stay safe in all situations. To be merged means to be emerged. And those who are emerged are Maya proof. This effort is easy. But do not get careless in the name of easy effort. The minds of careless effort makers will internally bite them. Whereas externally they would be singing songs of their own praise. Slogan Remain stable in the position of an ancestor and you will be freed from any bondages of maya and matter. Om Shanti